Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera. Welcome to today's live color along. We need to do a sound check first because I've got some uh, freezing up of my video this morning and some sound going on. And I don't know. It's just one of those technology Mondays, I guess. So can you hear me out there in color along land? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Um, make sure I have all of the right settings. Get rid of this pinned comment. We have uh, live color along this morning using colored pencils, blend and shade. And for today, I am using uh, Black Widow Cobra pencils. So don't be scared. Just has to do with the Cobra snake, and it's it's all in fantasy. Uh, Melody's saying that she can hear me fine. Okay, I've got all these thumbs up coming up. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Uh, we are ready to rock and roll. So we are still working on Color Along Volume 13. Um, just want to say off the top of this video today that Color Along Volume 14 is actually already on Amazon. I did that um, for the primary purpose of getting it out there um, for Black Friday because um, there might be some sales. There might be some Amazon coupons going on. Every once in a while, Amazon has a crazy coupon happening um, and they do like a $5 off a $20 purchase or something. When I find those coupon codes, I have to actually look for them. They don't tell me about them ahead of time. Um, I always try to pass it on, pass on that, uh, coupon to all of you. So color along volume, uh, 14 coloring book, which doesn't really start until March, uh, the end of March, actually somewhere around there is actually out and live on Amazon and on my website. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Right. So this morning I am using uh, Black Widow colored pencils. We are coloring a uh, mandala from this book. Let's see if we can. It's if we can find my find my spot. Um. Let's see what we've got. We've got a lot going on in this book. I think I'm out of order today. I don't know why. We don't know what happened. I think I had changed some stuff. So uh, we the last one that we did was this uh, one in just a number two pencil, which we did last week. And uh, we are not doing Cats and Kittens today. Cats and Kittens doesn't come along until uh, December 9th. And then this 3D variety coloring book doesn't come along until December 2nd. So uh, trying to uh, uh, keep everyone's uh, brain sharp. And uh, we're moving on to Easy Mandala's coloring book mandala right here. This uh, mandala can also be found in this little square book, 8.5 by 8.5 inches square. I don't know why I always have to announce the size of this book, but... Um, this is a easy mandala coloring book and it is easy peasy. It has, uh, 24 mandalas to color. It's got two copies of every page in it. So you can color twice. So you can share with a friend or, um, if you don't want to share with a friend, that's okay too. And they're really kind of big spaces. So this is actually the mandala we're working on this morning. That's in color along volume, uh, 13 that we have with us this morning. So this is a cool book to, um, just kind of play around with it's a nice pocket size book i guess because it's that square size i have some some mandala books that are the square size rather than being i feel like the, the mandala needs to be on a square page um rather than a uh rectangle page so uh that's what this book is so just a quick flip through of easy mandala's coloring book for all just want to say at the outset of this um this uh, video that this is an adult color along, an adult vid a video that is intended for the adult audience only and is not intended for anyone that is under the age of 13. Okay, that disclaimer being said, Sharon is saying the skipping pages is testing my OCD. <laughs> Just trying to mess with your head. All right, so let's say good morning to everyone before we begin before, as I'm flipping through this book. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Sharon. Testing with her OCD. Uh, do you have all your pencils in a row right now, Sharon? We need to get Sharon to uh, to be... Um, to flip the pencil backwards, right? Hey, good morning, Alice. Jean Mellinger's joining us this morning. Bonnie Miller, Mary Hannah, maybe Hickstead. Doesn't remind, you know, again, we're off a room, right? Chris, 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 how is it going, my friend Chris? Beth Turn is here with us this morning. Good morning to Trish and Diana and Melody. And who else is here with us? What Pam is here with us this morning. Uh, I saw somebody else here, but I don't remember what happened to them. Bonnie Hughes, that's who it was. Good morning, Bonnie Hughes. A lot of people here today on a Monday morning. Um, what are you having on 12-12? Oh, you mean December 2nd? <laughs> 12, oh, I mean, sorry, 12-2. Uh, December 2nd, um, the color along on December 2nd 
is let's look at the calendar here we've got this one for 11:25, which is today uh the one on the um on december 2nd is actually uh the 3d variety coloring book which we are using crayons and oil and then the cats and kittens one is going to be on december 9th and that will be uh the mondrian uh type color along you have to say it like that and then we're, I think we're back in order after that. You know, this is, um, I just um, started getting uh, books in order. Remember when I used to do color, color along books and they weren't in order? We were flipping through and we would just, I don't know. It was just a hot mess, right? It was just all, all a hot mess. Okay. It's a curse, this OCD. I'm not an OCD person, you know. I'm organized, and or maybe people think I'm organized, but I, you know, I say this all the time. It's, I, you know, on uh, I in on social media especially, I appear to be very organized, but in real life, I think I'm more of a hot mess. So, um, so I'm not all about that OCD business. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this a little bit closer. Here we go get this mandala a little bit closer so i'm using uh these black widow cobra pencils i love them look at the collect the selection of colors i mean i'm using these are my own personal pencils um and um these pen i'm just going to start out with deep red i don't know why but i just kind of uh i don't know called my name i guess bonnie's saying how do you know if amazon has specials or coupons do you have to sign up for notifications i don't have prime um you know, I don't know, Bonnie. <laughs> the only way I usually find out is I happen to stumble upon the coupon when I'm on Amazon shopping. Um, I Maybe I shop on Amazon way too much. I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to start with the heavy pressure here. Uh, the other thing that happens is uh, sometimes I'll Google it, or I'll see another artist uh, will talk about the coupon, and that's how I know. But... Um, you would think that they would tell me when there's a coupon that I, you know, but they don't. But it's, I keep my eyes open for it. You could also Google it. I don't know. You don't have Amazon Prime? Um, did you guys know that, um, and I'm, this is not directed at you in any way, Bonnie, but did you know that if you had an EBT card that you could get Amazon Prime for a discount? How about that? Hey, Cheryl Waters. Um, so I'm starting out with my uh, deep red color and I'm doing a heavy pressure here. So this is all about blending and shading today. You know, we're kicking it back. Old school, blend and shade, heavy pressure here, and I feel like my lighting is not good today. There we go. Um, and then I, as I get to the top portion, I'm easing up as if there's an imaginary line right here, and I'm going to do this to all of these sections of this particular mandala. Maybe I'm in the Christmas mode. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Do you ever find that happening? Subconsciously, you're like dressing in red and green because it's Christmas. Hey, Dawn, I'm going to get Scarlett's, uh, I don't know what happened to Scarlett. She needs my help. What happened to Scarlett? Oh, oh, Scarlett. She took this one? Chris says, I pay $5.99 a week for Prime. A week, really? There's no coupon on Amazon right now, Alice. I'm just anticipation of a coupon. We're going to all uh, think about the coupon and attract it into our world. How about that? Like I did last week when I said, it's going to be 12 inches of snow tonight. And then all of a sudden, it was a snow frenzy in my yard. So we're going to try to attract it. What else can we attract today? So see how that's just kind of heavy pressure, light pressure. So that ease up on the pressure as we move. There's going to be a lot of pivoting today. I can just feel it. As we move up towards the top of the shape. Oh, a month. So $5.99 a month times six. I mean, times, times 12, six times 12, that's 72, is that $72, six times 12? And that's a savings, regular prime is, what is it now, 112 or 119 or something? Does anybody know what prime is now? <clears throat> hey, Barb. I was flipping through Alexandria, hey, Alexandria, 
Alexandria is saying, what book are you uh, flipping through? I was flipping through, um, I was flipping through Easy Man Dollars. This one, Alexandria, Easy Man Dollars. You want snow? I'm going to send you a box of snow. Hey, remember the year that, uh, well, I remember the year. The year I started coloring books was 2015, was the year that we got a ton of snow in my area. We got like a blizzard every Monday. Ah, it was horrible. I hope we don't have a winter like that. Someone sold, I thought that someone sold snow that year from Bo that lived in Boston. I could have, I do remember him selling snow. Anybody remember that to New England? Bonnie, do you remember that? Or Mary, remember that year when we were just like inundated with snow? It was like nowhere to put it. It was crazy. I want to do one of those like um, those walking mandalas. Did you ever see that? Nine, one nineteen a year. That is a savings, but that's a savings if you have an EBT card on that five ninety nine. You know. You know, people that don't have Prime, right? Let's talk about this for a minute. You know, sometimes there is um, you can order something. Uh, over to the side, it'll say something like, like, for example, you can order one of my coloring books if you don't have Prime, and sometimes you can go over to the side and it will say, hey, I have to do something to the lens of my camera. I've got to put my finger on it for a minute. Hang on a second. It's bugging me. Okay. I think that's better. Sorry about that. I just had to get rid of that smudge. Can't stand when there's a cloudy camera. Oh, what a difference. Um... I think it's going to make a difference. Uh, all right. So let's talk about this whole, um, I'm reading Lynn's comment. Amazon credit card gives points to purchases. Yes, they do. I'm talking about, um, when you order something on Amazon and you, um, sorry about that. You guys, I had to make sure that I had to clean my camera lens. Oh, that's much better. Um, I was talking about when you order something on Amazon and you purchase something over to the right side, it says like, uh, you can also get this from these other sellers that will offer you free shipping. And some of my books are available for those types of purchase, but that's from someone that's called the third party seller. And if you do not have an Amazon Prime and you don't wanna pay shipping, you can, instead of ordering from that third party seller, you can actually go over and order that same book on my website and my website offers free shipping also. It just takes a little bit longer, but sometimes that takes a little bit longer too. So um, in the long run, why does that even mean any? Why do I care about all of that? In the long run, by uh, the, money, the amount of money that is made on a book that is sold from those third-party sellers is like a dollar per book versus like $3 per book. So it's some crazy, ridiculous amount. Um, so... I offer free shipping on my website now so I can uh, not have to deal with that part of it. Does that make sense? I'm going to use some purple next. I remember the winter of 95, 96. Oh, I remember that one too, Mary. This one is called Tulip. I kind of like it against that purple. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to blend this with another color. So if I do kind of a, a medium, a light to medium pressure here on this whole section without doing kind of a blend, a, a, a shade like I did here. And now I'm going to take this other purple, which is called Purple Haze. Doesn't it remind you of Prince? And I'm gonna go on top of this just to kind of blend it a little bit. So I've got, I'm using this Purple Haze as kind of my darker portion. And I'm going to do this for the whole thing. Doesn't that sound like they ate the whole thing? The whole thing. And then I'm going to go back and do it to the same thing. Sharon says, I think we're saying the word snow too much. I don't want any. I don't want any either. But I think there's a, a storm coming soon. I don't want any snow either. But it's going to be like 52 degrees or something crazy here today where I am. And uh, again tomorrow, like 56. Yesterday was horrible here. Yesterday we had like... It rained all day, raw, cold. Some places, actually, uh, at one point yesterday afternoon, there was snow mixed in with the rain where I am. Um, it was just not a good a good day yesterday. Even my dogs hated it. 
and they're kind of into the cold. I don't like buying from third party sellers because the artist gets ripped off. Yeah, you know, it's a pain in the neck. It bugs me. I have like a soft spot about it, Chris. Um, there's one book that I have that if I had put it so that a third party seller could sell it, I think I would make 18 cents. And the other part about the third party seller situation is that when somebody buys something from a third party seller, you don't get, the artist doesn't get, the book sale does not show up or you don't get paid. I don't get, the people don't get paid for the book that they're selling um, for 90 days. Thursday is supposed to be cold and blustery, John. Thursday is supposed to be like in the 40s here, I think. I'm hoping that it's going to be nice and it's not going to rain. It's going to be well nice enough for dogs to kind of go outside so that they don't have to be crazy while we're having our uh, Thanksgiving gatherings. What's everyone doing for Thanksgiving this year? I always think that Thanksgiving is just way too much food, you know? That it should be just like... I don't know. It should be just, let's think like when you think about all the food that's consumed on Thanksgiving, all the money that's spent on Thanksgiving, I just kind of bugs me sometimes. So I forego the turkey and I make pizza on Thanksgiving now. So save the bird, you know, save a turkey. Plus what's up with the lettuce? Let's, let's be real here. Lettuce. Every single time there's a holiday, romaine lettuce or some sort of lettuce is contaminated and recalled and there's none. Yeah, it was terrible. Mary, I think we had the same weather. It wasn't good out there yesterday at all. Did you get any snow on the ground though, Dallas? I know we're talking about that S word again, Sharon. I want to do one of those walking mandalas when it snows. There's a big field at the end of my street and I want to go into that big giant field and walk the whole thing and make one of like you walk the you walk the shape of the mandalas. Sharon's going to come with me and do it. I can tell. She's laughing right now. I can I know she is. Lynn, we're going to invite Lynn too. Wouldn't that be hysterical? That's a a a walk, right? I mean, imagine like being in like a football field and walking the shape. It would be kind of cool. You'd have to get like a helicopter or something to do like a or a plane to do an aerial view, or aerial view of it, or a photograph, or a drone. <clears throat> Melody is saying, we go to my mother-in-law's, and Lisa is going to the outlaws. Make sure you bring your, uh, you know, your pistol inside your holster when you go there. Uh, Bonnie's going out for dinner. Anything good? Macy's may not fly balloons on Thursday. Is it going to be that windy? I, have they never, have they ever not flown balloons? I actually know someone that is a balloon handler. I don't know if she's doing it this year or not. Uh, Bonnie says, we had rain, sleet, freezing rain, and snow yesterday. It's such a miserable day. Yeah, it was miserable, wasn't it? Probably the same as usual. We're doing turkey and all the fixings. We'll be there, Dawn. What time? What time should we be there? You know, the past few years, did I do it last year? But I've had color logs on uh, Thanksgiving morning. I didn't do it last year, I don't think. I don't even remember. I don't think I did. So much pressure, though, isn't it? To, like, I don't know. I think everyone should just not eat on Thanksgiving. How about that? Why do we have to eat to be eat all that food? Going to my husband's brother's house for dinner, baby, saying, hey, Chris says I'm having my son pick up a pre-cooked dinner on his way here and had to order it ahead of time. That is a perfect idea, Chris. This is a sore subject. I'm going to be all by myself. Alice, I would love for you to come over to my house. We won't talk about it. Would you like to join my Thanksgiving meal in, in the virtual world, Alice? That would be a step. That would be like the virtual. You could be like a virtual presence, wouldn't that be? Remember, remember on the Big Bang Theory when, um, when Sheldon decided to only be only live his life as a virtual presence, and he went out to a restaurant, and he was just like on a screen. Wouldn't that be cool to be walking around through life like that? I think that would be kind of funny. Hey, every time I want to go on a diet, the lettuce is contaminated. Uh, uh, Dawn is saying, I know. Isn't it crazy? It's like every holiday. I think it's a, a conspiracy against the lettuce. Let's it must be a conspiracy about, against against Dawn wanting to diet. Mary says dinner at home. Compliments of Shoprite. <clears throat> wow! Did they have to plow, Alice? Sharon says no. Right now, I'm filling the snowblower with gas because we're putting it out there so much. Oh my god! <laughs> Um, it will take me a day to get there by car. 
Where are you going? Uh, to my house, Lynn? Okay. Do you think you could drive the whole day? You're not the day. You're. I think you'd probably take about four or six hours now. Yeah, no political talking or loud. Are we talking about politics or are we talking about... Um, uh, poor Diana is freezing where she's where she is because it's 83 degrees outside. Oh my goodness. If it weren't for my son, I would be alone too. You know what? Sometimes I think that I would, not that I want to sound ungrateful, but I feel like I just want to, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> you know, it would be nice and quiet and I'm going to have to call you, Alice. I'm going to call you. All right. So here's my blue. This is Aquarius and I'm going to do a heavy pressure here. And then I'm going to lighten it up here. Now, let's see what happens if we blend um, some of this yellow, which is called light yellow. And I'm going to blend it on top of it just to kind of get the greenish tint there. So there's a kind of a good example of a blend. And I'm going to go back around and do every one of these like this. This is a cool color, Aquarius. This is a nice set of uh, colors, this Black Widow uh, color pencil set. And I'm going to go up here and lighten up a little bit. And just like that. Alice, I wish I could come and spend it with you instead of where I am going. Me too, Alice. I mean, me too, Melody. I agree. Think of all the pre-made meals I get from one meal. I know. Isn't it crazy? I don't think I'm going to have too many leftovers, though. We are having... I'm making uh, pizzas, salad, and I think fries. I'm not sure. We're doing a non-traditional uh, Thanksgiving Last year I did that. It was a hit. I think we had nacho chips last year and they just like made it to the table. I reached over when I sat down and said, I'll have some of those and they were gone. So but it's a young crowd. So we figured, I figured that it would be easier. And I usually make homemade dog biscuits for the dog friends, but um, I haven't done that yet. And I really haven't even thought about doing it in my head yet. So... We'll see what happens with that. My son informed me that he wasn't spending the holidays with me, Alice is saying this year, because it wasn't fair to his wife because they couldn't spend them with any with him. Um, you know, holidays are a soft spot, right? I don't want to get, I don't want to be like a, a, a Debbie Downer in this, during this uh, time together because we want to keep things happy, happy, right? Um, but it is too much pressure to have perfect Norman Rockwell uh, Thanksgiving. I agree with you, uh, Mary. Mary saying that it is. It's too much pressure. Anyway, we've got to move on to a happy topic here. All right. So, um, anybody win anything cool for in the coloring book world? That's kind of fun, right? When we all win something. So again, blending with this yellow. Speaking of savings and coupons and winning, right? There's a coupon on my uh, website right now says Black Friday 30 and you can get 30% uh, off PDF coloring books, the ones you can print yourself. And let me tell you what kind of savings that is. For example, uh, you can buy the vintage grayscale coloring books that are $6.99 right now. You can get those for 30% off and I believe the price comes down to $4.89, I believe. Scarlett is disagreeing with me in the background apparently. All right, let's see what color we're going to put back here. Behind, for the behind. I'm going to go with this nugget color, kind of my friend orange. And I'm going to kind of do a heavier pressure coming out from there and then light here. Oh, no political talk at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, I agree with you, Mary. Let's help Scarlett with something. What happened, Scarlett? Oh, the same thing, eh, Scarlett? Here you go. Okay, lit. The coloring book cafe contest, I was going to try that and Dawn, and I was like, this is so complicated. What the heck do I have to do? I, it was very complicated. Lynn won a pair of a baby alpaca, alpaca socks. Oh, how exciting. They're socks for a human though, right, Lynn? Not socks for the baby alpaca. They're just made out of alpaca, right? Let's clarify that. She didn't win socks to put on the actual baby alpaca, 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 alpaca. So 
So this is just kind of this nugget color. It's kind of a golden yellow, I guess, a deep yellow. I just need to pivot again. And I'm doing the every other to create the pattern. And then here again. Just to kind of create that uh, that shade right there. And then for this section here, I think I'm gonna blend it with something else. So let's do a light pressure here on this portion. So a light pressure in this whole thing. And then we're going to, let's take another color, maybe uh, maybe take a blue and see what happens when we blend on top of this yellow with the blue. What do you think is going to happen? It should turn green in theory, right? I don't know what made me pick these colors, Bonnie. But it's, uh, I, I'm, I don't know what happened. But Alice says, I've been making craft projects and that's been fun. I saw that tree that you made. That was awesome. Any word on the Black Widow pencils, Lynn's asking. Some of mine are needing a pencil extender. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the Black Widow pencils. I heard that latest I heard was there was um, going to be like a, a a bigger set or something with different colors, but I haven't heard from my friend Albert. I'll have to give him a, I have to send him a message and find out what the, what the scoop is. He always gives me the information, but we'll have to get the scoop from him. All right, let's see about maybe a blue color. Is this blue? This is forest. You know, this set does not have like a light blue because the way the Black Widow color pencils are is that if you have the whole set, that you would be able to have, um, I'm just gonna give this a quick sharpen. Um, if you have, isn't that yellow pretty, Mary? If you have the whole set, every set, you would have um, a complete set of colors. So this one is Aquarius, which is what we used here. And I'm going to kind of just blend it a little bit, meaning that I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of, color to this and adding this Aquarius on top of the light yellow will just kind of give me a greenish color. You could go back in to this portion right here, maybe with the colorless blender, which is more of a neutral color. Any type of uh, colorless blender would be a neutral color. And you could add you could kind of press down on it really to kind of blend those colors. Oh, this is the other thing I have to tell you guys. We're having a color along on Sunday. I'm doing a color along on um, Sunday for Dawn Boyer. And here's Blood Diamond. We're going to go with this for Blood Diamond. Um, Coloring along on Sunday, December 1st. We are coloring. It's going to be a special color along two hours, 10 to 12 um, I'm actually coloring from two different books. We're going to be coloring from Dawn's new book called All Animals Go to Heaven. And um, the she has two volumes, All Animals Go to Heaven, Volume 1 and Volume 2. We're featuring two books that day. I'm going to be coloring a page from Volume 1, which is a dog, which is actually Lisa Aykroyd's dog, Maple, who she lost a, a few months, about, a few, about a month ago, Lisa, a couple of months ago. And um, I'm going to be coloring a cat. So there's uh, event pages on my Facebook page that you can go in and uh, uh, free pages for that color along will be posted, I believe, on Friday is when they're going to be posted. Um, that's a good idea, Lynn. Lynn has all of her uh, pencils that go together and kind of living together. Do they get along or is, someone, is anyone uh, complaining that they're living together? Is the red saying, is the blood diamond saying to the, red, to the deep red, uh, move over? You know, you used all my, you know, you're taking up my space. Don't breathe so heavy. You know, it's when pencils get together and they talk. Whew. I think I need a nap when the pencils get together and they talk. Yeah, so that color along on Sunday is going to be uh, different than other color alongs we've ever done. So two hours instead of one. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll have intermission where we can get up and go to the bathroom. Uh, what else? And let the dog out. Um, the other thing that's happening with that color along is you'll still be able to enter a copy 
enter to win a copy of each book, but we're going to do two things differently. First of all, there's going to still be the page that you can color and you can enter to win that way. But the other part is that you're going to be able to post a, page, a photo of one of your pets and to just kind of show us who your pet is and uh, post, a page, post a photo of one of your little furry friends, cat, dog, I don't know, snake, spider, uh, who knows, um, uh, gerbil, rat. Well, I don't know about the rat, but anyway. Uh, post a page, post a photo of one of your friends. And the next thing that's going to happen, which is going to be very interesting, because we've never done this before, is that you will be able to call me live while I'm live via Facebook Messenger. And you can, we'll chat. And you can tell me a story about your furry friend living, no longer with you, uh, a funny story. Um, I thought that would be kind of a cool color along. So I'm hoping that Lisa's going to call because Lisa's dog is being featured in one of the pages. Um, I don't know who else is going to be calling. I don't have it set up, so we're just going to kind of throw it out there. If you want, if you have a pet rock, you can tell a story about your pet rock too. That'll be very interesting. Uh, is it snowing where you are, Beth? See, we, we attracted it. Um, <laughs> the pencils are just like a, a sibling, right, Chris? Stop touching me. Go away. All right, let's bring some purple back in here. Let's go with the purple again. This is a tulip color. I'm going to use this color for this section here. Kind of a weird blend of colors, isn't it? Um, I colored a page yesterday from Mushroomania with my IO IO markers and, um, I don't know what happened. I just went crazy with color. So just kind of blending and shading here. So I've got this dark section here and coming out with a lighter shade as we get towards the edge. Now I can go back in just like I did with this and I'll go back in with purple haze and go back into it or let's, oh, maybe we should introduce grape. Hello, Grape. We'll put you right here. Paisley, what's wrong? She said nothing. Paisley got up like that today, like a nut. I don't know what happened. She just, like, got up in a frenzy. It's like, what the heck is wrong with you today, Paisley? Right, Paisley? I'm talking about you. So heavier pressure here, and then I added a little bit of that grape color there. I know, Paisley. What's wrong? Leave Scarlet alone, please. Hey, Sarah. So I don't know who's going to call me when we do the live color along. That should be interesting, right? Um, going to kind of go on a, go out on a limb, and um, maybe Dawn Boyer will call. I don't know. We've got to try to see if Dawn Boyer will call. If you have Facebook Messenger, that's how you call. One time I did it like that. I gotta get Paisley to stop doing it. One time we did a live call in like that. Does anybody remember this? Girls, let's be quiet for a little while, okay? Does anybody remember what, <coughs> when we did the live call along where we did a live call in and. Um, you could win something like the 25th caller won. And there was one person that just kept calling and calling and calling and calling. It was actually kind of funny. It was like a radio show. You know, like when you call on the radio to win something and you just keep calling and calling. So we're going to see how it goes. I thought it would be kind of fun because everyone wants to share stories about their fur friends, but break out the tissues because we, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be sad. People might be telling you a story about a pet that they've lost um, so that's like the only, uh, sad time we'll have, but it's happy time, happy, sad, you know, sometimes things can be happy, sad. So here's that grape color. Thank you, Sarah. How's it going? Lisa's going to call. She can tell us about maple as I'm coloring maple. I have a lot of dog stories about that I could talk about, about dogs that I have lost. <clears throat> I don't want to get too weird about them, but there's one that I could really tell that is really kind of like a, uh, I mean, I even think of it now and I just still can't even believe it happened. So 
could really kind of tell different stories about that. Sarah says, I don't like my voice. Hey, Sarah, I've got a secret to tell you. I don't like my voice either. I never, ever watch or listen to a color along back, like a, the, the, my voice on a color along. Never, ever, ever. Very unique, right, Heather? It reminds me of a sunburst. It reminds me of Skittles, uh, Bonnie. Give this a quick darkened section here, light as we go out to the outer portion. And I don't know, I'm thinking about these um, other areas here, these outer portions. Not sure if I should introduce the red again or maybe go with a green or a yellow when I get to that part. Of course, Scarlet and Paisley will be, will be here on um, Sunday. So here's my dark, my heavier pressure, lighter pressure up there. Taste the rainbow. Alice, someone posted on Facebook and wanted to know if your pet slept on your bed at night. I said, yes, Melody sleeps with me. Who else lets their dog sleep with me? Yeah, my dog sleep with me too. Um, they sleep on my bed. You know, the, lately I've been trying to, get pa trying to get Paisley to not sleep on the bed. And um, it has just turned into an absolute disaster. So she slept in the, the other night. This is what happened. The other night she slept, she was asleep on the couch. And we went to bed and... There she was, still on the couch. So I said, well, I'm not going to force her to get up, right? I'll leave her there. Well, the whole time for the, well, not the whole time. I would say for the next two hours. That's long enough for me. Um, Scarlett was very concerned that Paisley was not there. And Paisley kept walking around. So every time she walked around, Scarlett popped her head up like, uh, we have a problem out there. So we're not doing that anymore. I'm coloring in the book today. I never color in books. It's weird. Really, Lynn, I never color in books either. But this co the color along books I do. This is picking up some texture that's behind it. I don't know why. Probably because I colored like previous pages and it's got kind of like a, a mark on it. It's like you can write a hidden message. Go back with some grape now for this section here. Bonnie says, I have a hard time talking about my Heidi cat since she passed away 18 months ago. It's okay, Bonnie. You don't have to. Why does it keep saying each person's name is watching? Um, you mean like in green? I don't know, Sarah. That keeps happening. But Mamie says, we have four sleeping with us, sometimes the fifth one too. That's a lot. Do dogs or cats? Dogs or cats, Mamie? How about those beds that are like the whole bed that takes up the whole room? That's such a controversial topic, though, isn't it, Alice? About whether or not people want uh, people sleep with it, have their pets sleep with them or not on their bed. I say, as long as you don't get up, you know. Um, when I first got Paisley, actually, she was in a crate at night, and the very first night, she just cried and cried and cried and cried. And after about like about an hour of her crying and me saying, just okay, it's okay, it's okay. I finally just picked her up and I sent, put her in my bed with me because she just, she was so tiny. Okay, so here is, I did each one of them like that. Now, my outer portions, I'm going to go with that um, Aquarius. Is anyone else singing that song yet? Yorkies in a Oh, you have a Chinese crested. Oh, how exciting. Hey, Yvette's here with us this morning. Good morning, Yvette. Yvette and I had a nice chat the other night on uh, through a Facebook chat. Well, I don't think we've ever really done that before, right, Yvette? Um, you know, it's funny because I don't really pay attention too much to what other coloring book artists are doing. Um, I'm just kind of like in my own little bubble, I guess. And... Um, it's funny that Yvette and I were chatting the other night and we are doing a lot of things the same, don't you think, Yvette? So um, we had a nice conversation and uh, we need to, we've decided, Yvette, should I tell them? I don't know if Yvette can still hear me. Can you hear me, Yvette? Um,
Everyone here at Bros know that. Hey, Tammy's with us this morning too. Good morning, Tammy. Um, yeah, so we um we were chatting the other night. Where, and that's the first time we've ever really. I mean, of course, I'm familiar with the vet's books, but I kind of just I don't know. I stay in my own own bubble sometimes. You know, the other thing is I try not to. It's not that I'm. When someone's doing a live video. Uh, and other artists, for example, I try not to watch it only because I don't want them to think that I'm, uh, I don't know, trying to stalk them with them. Um, I just want to support them, you know? Like one time I was listening to Christine Aldridge, I was watching Christine Aldridge's uh, YouTube video, and um, we, all of a sudden, she said, oh my God, Ian Manera is here, blah, 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 blah. And she's going on and on and on. She's talking about my books, and she's talking about like how to get in touch with me and blah, 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 blah. And finally I said, no, stop. I'm just watching because I'm a fan. That's all. I'm just watching because I want to watch your your video. I'm not here to try to like plug my own book. So um, I just cannot stand when that, when that happens. I don't want to do that to people. But Yvette and I had a nice conversation and we um, started talking about, right, Yvette? We started talking about, don't hold us to this because we still have to kind of figure it out. Started talking about uh, collaborating on something in the spring doing some sort of event together, uh, I don't know, class, whatever. We're going to we're gonna figure it out. We're going to get through Christmas, uh, get through the new year, and then we're going to uh, see what we can come up with. Um, see, Yvette is saying, I agree with you. I feel the same way as you. Yeah, I don't like to pop in, you know, but everybody's always welcome to kind of pop in. And I never think that people are doing that when they're watching my color alongs. I never think that you're, like, trying to plug yourself at all. But we are deaf. We're going to uh, continue our conversation from the other night um, over the next few several weeks so that we can figure out what we can possibly do together um, going towards the spring and collaborate on something. Uh, I don't know what we're going to collaborate on, but we learned that, or I learned anyway, that I don't know if you learned this, but we're kind of like doing the same things, but we're no, we didn't even realize we were doing the same things. You know? Kind of crazy. Sarah says, that would be cool, and to bet. What do you guys think? You think I think it would be cool. I, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you that are here. Um, uh, I know that you've, I've seen things that you post about from Yvette's book. So I think that, um, I think it would be kind of cool. I think it would be fun. Sometimes it's hard to get involved with um, doing something with another artist, you know? But they don't really think the same. They're not really doing the same thing. But we're going to try to do something, so... There's that, right, Yvette? I think it would be kind of fun. All right, so let's see what we've got so far. So we've used this set of Black Widows. I still have to do the middle, and I'm going to go back in with some yellow in the middle, and I've got that nugget color somewhere. There you are, you little bugger. Just going to give it a quick shopping. Yes, exactly, Sarah. We both teach painting. We do, both do a lot of online uh, videos, online classes. I didn't know that uh, Yvette was a graphic designer. I'm a graphic designer. Um, I didn't know all these things about Yvette, so we got to know each other the other night, and, um, we're going to try to figure out what's happening, but, you know, I kind of just, you know, stay away from the, the masses, um, I don't know, just, it's just, you don't want to be subconsciously influenced by what someone else is doing, and then create it, you know, um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I would love to have you and Yvette collaborate on something. I want to want to be part of it. Yeah, I think it's going to be cool. It's going to sound like fun. we got to figure it out. Lynn is saying, second question about Black Widow. Okay, listen, this, this is the only question you're going to get, Lynn. If, you, if I shop in Grub Green again, the words would be gone. Do you think I can shop in the other end? Yes, you can. You can definitely shop in the other end. Do it. All right, so I've got that section there. Now let's put that, let's find that Aquarius color. You know, who sings that song? Jefferson Airplane, is that who sings it? I'm going to use my uh, Aquarius color towards here, towards the middle. And then as I get towards the other end, I'm going to kind of, or the other end, the other side, I'm going to kind of come out. I've got to go help Scarlett though. Hang on one second while I get my friend Scarlett.
So, Yvette, I think this is the first time you're watching, right? Right, Yvette? So, live. My color longs are live with my dogs in the background. Anything can happen, right? Usually the phone can ring. Our friend Rachel from Card Services. And we just basically kind of chat, you know? It's, it, any, we talk about all weird stuff. A lot of pivoting going on of our coloring page. So there's that kind of a Aquarius color. Lynn is, Lynn is having a concert in her head, I can tell. And now we've got to blend this with something. So let's see what we can possibly blend kind of as a colorless blender. We talk about that a lot, right? What's a colorless blender? Typically a neutral color. And in this particular uh, case, I'm going to use this color called Dim Gray. I mean, what an interesting name for a pencil or for a color, Dim Gray. I've never, obviously never used this. Um... Yvette's saying, okay, girls, I need to go. Love your coloring in. Have a great day. Yeah, okay, Yvette's going to get ready for her holiday boot camp. Hey, thanks for joining us, Yvette. I will talk to you soon. Um, thank you, Bonnie. Is it the fifth dimension? I thought it was, um, I think it is the fifth dimension, actually. Maybe it is, Patricia. We have three different dog-sized beds in the living room and always have the smaller dog in the biggest bed and the biggest dog in the smaller bed, uh, Trisha's telling us. I know, isn't it like the three bears or Goldilocks? No one just like, no one likes what they, they have. They want the other. I'm going to use dim gray here and I'm going to use this as my colorless blender. Kind of an interesting name for a color, dim gray. You know, gray is dim. Has anyone noticed that at night it's extremely dark, darker than it's ever been in life? Is anyone else having this, uh, noticing this? That when it's dark outside, it's not that, it's more, it's darker than it's ever been. I was noticing that the past week. It's maybe, I don't know what it is, but it just seems so dark. I actually went outside last night to check to see if the bulbs were working in the street lights <laughs> on my street, thinking that maybe they need to be changed. And no, I'm not adding that to my list of things to do. What are you doing today? Changing the street light bulbs. Wouldn't that be funny? All right, let's add um, a little bit of color. I'm going to add this mustard color. It looks like it's uh, begging to be used because it has a nice sharp point to the edge of this, uh, the tips here, just to kind of add a little bit of yellow to this, kind of a, a cool mustard color here and just kind of a layer of color. And again here, just a little bit of a layer of color. A little bit of a layer of color here and here for this other one that's off the top, at the top. You know, I can zoom in on these pages with this camera, but I can't zoom out. Isn't that weird? I don't know why it's not giving me that option. Okay. So I'm calling this finished, complete. <clears throat> As opposed to bright gray, exactly, Trish. Dim, yeah, dim gray. I know, isn't it funny? I'm thinking of dim sum <laughs> at a Chinese restaurant with Aquarius playing in the background. You know, all of it just combined together with the pencils sitting at the table, having a conversation. Hey, let's, hey, thank you, Bonnie. Hey, let's look to see what we've done so far. Okay, this was a cool one. We did this with chalk pastels. Again, I could still coming off of my hands. This was our first one from this book. Then we moved on to the pointillism uh, color along with this one from Dog Angels. Um, and then we moved on to this page where we created a lot of different textures from this page from Frenzy. And then we moved on to Cubism, which is way in the back here. Did I have, do I have Cubism? We did Cubism here. Here's Cubism. Thank you, Chris. Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with a hammer. I don't even know what that means when. Okay. All right. Uh, sometimes there's comments that really kind of throw me. It's in the 30s today outside. Is it really, Sarah? That's kind of cold for where you are, isn't it? It's like, um, it's like spring outside of my house right now. Tammy, they are Black Widows. Yes. These are Black Widow uh, Cobra. This is the Cobra set of Black Widows. And then we used just a number two pencil last week. And then we skipped these two because we want to mess with Sharon's OCD. And then we, uh, this is what we worked on today, blend and shade with e from this page from Easy Mandala. So next week we are going back in time in this book and we're working with the 3D variety coloring book. 
and page and this one is going to be all about crayons and oil what kind of oil you ask any kind of oil usually i use uh, extra virgin olive oil the 365 brand from whole foods <laughs> or i use um uh just a vegetable oil but you can use uh oil any type of oil you could use mineral oil baby oil you could use gamasol which is a, a particular specific art uh product a product to use for art or you can use just a kitchen oil um, some people use cocoa butter. I don't really know why. Sometimes you can use Vaseline. So anything is going to be able to make that blend. So that's what we're doing on um, December 2nd, which is right after Turkey Day. Let's me see if I can catch up with the comments. Cool. All right, that was, I don't play that game, Sarah. Okay, this is cool, Anne. I needed a refresher course on blending and shading. You know, Mary, I'm glad that you're saying that because blending and shading to me is probably the cornerstone of coloring. And if you can blend and shade with colored pencils, then you can blend and shade with markers or gel pens. And it, you, I think we all kind of need to go, like, go back and do this. Um, all right, so we've got this uh, crayons with oil, and then we've got Mondrian coming up on December 9th. And then we've got warm colors and gel pens coming up on December 23rd. So the schedule is up. I mean, we've got the schedule. We're still following. We're moving along on the schedule. Um, so for the rest of the week, we have a color along coming up on Sunday, which is going to be for Dawn Boyer. I hope you can join me. That one's at 10. We're doing a two-hour color along with uh, an opportunity for you to call in as a live caller and talk about your... Uh, furry friend um, living or or that has passed um, Lynn says I like coconut oil. coconut oil it smells nice it's funny because I was just looking at something this morning on Facebook and there was a post about this woman who could not get out of the bathtub for 30 minutes because she put coconut oil in her bath and the, the bathtub was just so slippery that she just could not get out of the bathtub and I just kept thinking to myself that's something that would happen to me <laughs> is that I would use that and I would be like stuck in the bathtub you know, so it's kind of funny. Okay, so Color Along Volume 4, Volume 13. We are done with another successful Color Along today using Black Widow colored pencils. And any questions about today's Color Along? We are um, moving along. If I don't see you all or hear from you all, have a great Thanksgiving. And um, hope it's stress-free and don't eat too much. And uh, don't talk about politics like Mary says. Um, Sarah says we like Vaseline because it does the same thing as the oil, but not as messy and dried faster. Yes, I agree with you. I don't know why I don't use Vaseline. I know that Scarlett tried. To, oh, Scarlett tries to eat the olive oil because she thinks that I have like a uh, a food product next to me. Okay, my friends, I will see everyone soon. Hope you have a great day, and uh, thanks for joining me today.